now welcome to all we'll start with the third session of learning pearl so today we have the agenda so we'll start with learning the the data the arrays the data types of arrays and hashes okay so for, first we'll go to the introduction about what is array in the Perl and how we can access the array elements and after that some of the commands, the pop and push operators and what are array slices okay and the next data type is about the hash so how some little bit of introduction on to hashes so how you will declare the data types uh, by using the hash and how you can access the elements into the the hash data type and uh, iterating over the hashes the hash slices and at the end we'll discuss with the one uh, per script so this is the introduction for the arrays in Perl. so the array is nothing but as we discuss on the scalars and the scalar variables how we can declare a single element in the scalars the same way the array is nothing but a uh, order list of the scalars and this is an example so where we are declaring an array with the name even and these are the elements for this array 2 4 6 8 and 10 and these are the elements where we'll be uh, assigning to the array with the variable even and for an array the variable will start with the preceding uh, with add sign as we had it for the scalars by using the dollar sign what we call it as a sigil okay and the mnemonics for this is as nothing but an array so when you have a list of items and that has to be separated with commas and that has to be included within the parenthesis as you can see here in the example so all the elements which you want to assign to this array it has to be separated with uh, the commas and it has to be uh, within the parenthesis ending with a semicolon which is there for the same for all the lines okay and as you can see so this is the kind of data where you can use and you can assign the elements now we are uh, we we'll discuss with someone of the example for example here we have a scalar variable the 9 and the value of 9 is assigned to this okay and when you are declaring an array you can also use the element which are assigned to an array by using the variable itself the scalar variable so this is nothing but the value so uh, the 9 is assigned to uh, the scalar variable and this can be directly used uh, for assigning the value to an array so this is an example where this is the uh, beautifulness of the pearl where you can do it here okay and if you want to print an array this is what it will happen for example we have assigned the value 9 to this variable 9 and this is our array 7 of and this is one of the string and this is one variable okay so now we are printing at stuff so this is what the difference where you want you need to see it here so we are printing the the array here and after that the next line and in this next print within the uh, double quotation we are declaring this stuff and with the next line this is how it prints at the first you can see the difference here so all the variable elements are uh, have been uh, printed here and these are uh, printed with some uh, with a single space in between so what is actually the difference here in the in the first print so what we consider so this tells the uh, the pearl to dutifully print all the elements whatever are the whatever are there in the list one after the another and without and with the uh, the new line being printed at the last okay so here while we are printing like this the array so there is no uh, it doesn't contain any space and it will run and it will print as it is for all the elements what you have assigned uh, inside the this array variable or uh, this array 
okay and in the second where we printed it by using like this within the uh, double quotation and stuff so this will uh, print the individual element separated by a single space okay as you can see here so the spaces are there between each of the element of an array stuff okay so this is the difference how you can print and how uh, what is actually the array how you can declare an array variable so now accessing the array element how you can access the elements which are assigned inside an array so these are the examples with an example we can understand now here so arrays are indexed indexed by the number with the first element of the array which has been indexed as zero and uh, and after that like one two three so getting the first element will look like this for example you want to access the first element then it is at indexed at at zero okay so now i am declaring the array variable so i need to use the function my function i will declare the uh, array word and i will assign some of the string variables here some of the uh, like uh, uh, three different elements are assigned to this array now i want to print the the first element so how i can access the element onto the array by using the difference what you can see here it's not the array it's the the sigil it's the variable is the scalar by using that you will be assigning you will be uh, indexing to the zero so this is the difference where you need to uh, give attention so this is the line remember the sigil before the variable name indicates how you are accessing it and not the type of the variable okay so this is the frequent source of the confusion for most of the new program Perl programmers and this is where you need to give the attention okay and on the right hand side of the variable is the square brackets around the index and the number what you will give so that will index to the the, the element what you have assigned within an array okay so we'll take an, an example here so how you want to access for example at words so these are the things which i have uh, we have assigned now so the first will be uh, we, I'm, I want to take the the element uh, which is indexed at zero, and I'm giving the variable here, the scalar variable, and uh, I'm accessing the first element that is indexed at the zero, and it will be going into the first, second, and third. Okay, and you might want to also individual element of uh, you want to accept uh, expect that you want to take any of the variable. So you can also do like this or else you want to assign a value to uh, uh, to the array for example you want to assign you want to change or you want to assign at uh, the the element which is indexed as what which is indexed at the one okay you want to assign it as one more you can directly take by using the CG the dollar variable the words this is not at okay this is what the difference what you need to see here so this is the at so but the word which is actually an array and indexed at one and you are assigning this is not at this is the dollar word and by using this you will be assigning and a new uh, or else the change which has already been uh, declared okay so now you want to print at words okay it will print like this and one more thing okay so this is the difference where you need to uh, see while you are dealing with the array variable in the Perl scripting now going further so if you want to access an array with a negative number for example what will happen if i give it as a minus uh, if i give it as a negative uh, uh, negative integer uh, into the indexing so what it will happen so this is nothing but it will go on to the end it will end the back back side of the as you can see in the stack from top to the bottom so it will go to the back at the end of the array and it will uh, uh, assign the index it will index to that uh, uh, element and if you want to access that element it will give that for example here at the last so i'm declaring a variable here and using the variable uh, for an array 
so I'm indexing the uh, minus one so which is the n variable when I do the print last it will print the the last element which has been indexed okay and as similar minus two it will again to the the next variable before the end it will be assigning and that will be printed and uh, the variable for the element at the minus three is nothing but the first which is at the end okay and in the pearl the arrays are not of fixed size consider that for example i am assigning it here okay dollar word and i want to access the eighth element this will not give an error okay so eighth anyhow it's not been initialized so there is no any uh, element on the which is an index at eight but anyhow this will uh, not give any uh, error but it will not display any kind any if you want to uh, uh, print this word there is nothing but it's a blank okay so the pearl will allow you to try and access an element beyond the end of an array okay so beyond the array also you can able to access and will not uh, issue any sort of warning unless this you do something if you do some kind of changes to the word it will again change it to that okay and after that so you can also assign the literals to the arrays and not the variables you can also use the qw operator okay this is what the q that is the code words like this for example odds this is one this is one of the array i want to uh, uh, assign the elements the odd elements into an array odds so i will declare within the my function and qw so here you need not uh, uh, write the elements by using uh, uh, by using the comma in between of each element as you did it in uh, the previous one without using the qw so here once you use the qw so you are free enough you can directly uh, view the elements with one of the one space one white space so this is what the operator and at uh, words so at odds you can also declare uh, one of the character uh, the string variable which can be assigned to the uh, the array okay so the pop and push operators how you can as the similar what you did it in the c language you can also use it here by using the pop and push operators this is one of the common use of the array it's it resembles of that of the stack how uh, you can access the variables that is the the first thing last out okay if i look that is the first thing last out what you have it in the the stack and where you can add new values to and remove the odd values from the right hand side of the list like the stack of the plates okay so the pop operator will take the last element of an array and return it to it for example i have assigned the array pi dot dot this is nothing but it's not it's it will be the sequence from five to nine okay so for example at bits i want to pop by using the array as you can see it here you are popping you are not giving the sigil you are giving it here not the do dollar it will be the it will be the at that is the the array uh, variable you are assigning you want to pop it from this array it's not if you give it as a sigil it will take it as a variable okay you want to take you want to pop it from the the array variable the bits will get the the nine which is at the last and that will be assigned to array now the array will have the values five six seven and eight okay because the nine has been popped and it has been assigned to the variable bits okay now again i want uh, in one more variable called as pilani and i want to pop the array so that which has been indexed onto the first will be the eight that will be popped and assigned to the variable pilani and now the array has the elements five six and seven now pop array this will nothing but it will give you the array now has five comma six the seven is discarded okay so this is how uh, you can see it here the converse operation is nothing but the push where you want to if you want to add an element to an array variable so you can uh, you can do like this for example push so you are not using i am again repeating it so it's the whole of the array as you do it here for assigning you are using it with the the dollar sign variable 
but here while using the pop and the push you are giving the add the array variable and what is that the element you want to push for example the zero so now the array will have the previously it has five and six now it will have zero value okay now push again array eight the eight will be added to the, the list of the elements in that array now now push array one dot dot ten that is nothing but it, you are telling that you are to an array you include the element from one to ten to these elements okay now it will have total 10 new elements to the previously 5 6 0 8 and then 1 2 till 10 okay add others i just want like you had the qw 9 0 2 1 0 okay so this is nothing but again you are adding the, the these element 9 0 2 1 0 now already you have 14 elements plus 10 element that is the 14 elements now again these five elements we are been pushed or been added to that array so now the array will have a total number of 19 elements totally okay this is how the array the pop and the push operator will work right so we, at the end we we'll discuss with by using one of the example and one more important part is about the array slices to take the several elements of out of an array at once you want don't want you you want multiple elements to be popped out or you want the multiple elements to be taken out so you will use the add sign at the front so this is how you can do for example add bits it is having the values it's having the elements as Pilani, Goa, Hyderabad and Dubai okay and now um, by using the all so by using this for this element array I want to assign the values which are I want to multiply I want to uh, take out multiple values of an array from the bits and I want to assign it to be the variable the array variable or so I am giving the index which is index as 1 and 3 which is nothing but the go one Dubai and this will be assigned to my new array that is the org okay similarly we so we have one more variable of our array so bits in here so add bits I want to uh, assign the elements of 0 1 2 which has to be assigned to the bits in here so now for the bits in here we have the Pilani, Goa and Hyderabad and these value of elements from the bits uh, the way on the array from the bits it will be assigned to the bits in here and the value of bits in here now will be the Pilani, Goa and Hyderabad this is how the uh, by using this is nothing but the call as array slices where you can take multiple elements and it can be assigned to the an array okay and it's the square bracket as you can see it here so it's the square bracket here as you have it so for example here you wanted to push or pop and before that okay so the similar way so you have it here so multiple elements uh, which have been indexed you have to cover it in the square bracket that will tell uh, that will tell the people that whatever variable you are indexing into and array in this case is not the leading the CJ. so this is what the difference is and the basic important parts you need to know and depending on this you need to understand you can write a lot of different programs and you can run that by using arrays okay so we'll discuss on to that example by the end of this session and before that we'll also cover the hashes so what is actually an hash variable so what is that hash data type similarly so this hash is similar to an array except that instead of indexing in indexing into the hash using the integers you will use the strings this is the difference what you have it in hash it's a similar as you have it declaring onto the array so you will use uh, indexing by using the strings you refer to the strings you index into the hash as keys you call it as a keys and the values what they are returning are well nothing but the values of that hash okay so now consider an example here so this is the following hash which has a three values it is indexed for example, the values here onto the hash variable bits are 1, 2 and south. Okay. But it is indexed by using Pilani, Goa and Hyderabad. So this is not nothing but the 0, 1 or 2. It is nothing but by where it has been uh, indexed as Pilani. The value written is 1 and indexed at Goa it is written at 2 and the value uh, indexed, uh, indexed by using Hyderabad the value is south 
okay now you want to print plan okay bits comma or now you want to print by using the as you can see it here it's not the square or the uh, the round brackets here you are using the flower brackets within that this is with the different with the hash now uh, what you want to print for example take this an example okay now the bits has one two and so okay so this is what you can do by using the array which is nothing but little bit of complications so where you have the values for example the bits has uh, the values which are one two and so you are assigned to you and uh, to an array now you are indexing for example you are again declaring the planning which is indexed to zero go over to one and two this is how you need to do by using an array but by similarly by using the hash it will be simple which is nothing but by using the keys what you call it here okay so now how you can access the hash element accessing the data in a hash is simple so here by using the same example by number i want to put the i am accessing so again as you did it in the array you are accessing by using the sigil the dollar the bits go up so this the number will be uh, the value of this which is indexed at goa will be assigned to my variable number so uh, to an hash which is indexed at goa the value is 2 and the value 2 will be assigned to the variable number okay now for example print delhi is equal to number it will print it as 2 okay now bangalore it equal to so now the for the bits the, the hyderabad so this is the indexing so uh, the value indexed at hyderabad is nothing but south so the south the string will be assigned to the bangalore uh, variable uh, now in printing the bangalore equal to it's nothing but at the south okay so here these are the things what you need to see the first what is that accessing an individual element of the hash you have a dollar sign of the sigil and curly brackets around then index okay the you will be assigning same as that of array you will be using their dollar variable but you are using it here the curly braces okay now going into next the iterating over the hashes so this is one of the part so iterating over hash is nothing but very simple so how you can do it is by using the key function it will return the list of the keys from the hash as shown in the example take this an example so now by using the same example for the bits we have indexed and these are the values on the right hand side now for example my variable or so it is the loop for the keys till whatever the keys are there for this hash variable till on that it will loop okay and for each value on for the each key values of the hash it will try to print this so the or it will give it as or is bits the the variable which is indexed at or so the key which is there in the or okay so that key value uh, the value which is indexed that values will be printed here for example this will give this is nothing but here the or do, uh, the dollar or is nothing but for example the key the first is pilani second is goa and hyderabad this is for example the hyderabad is printed here and the or nothing but the value the uh, the key hyderabad is at what you will give the value the value for hyderabad indexed is nothing but south but as you can see here the uh, the hash value it's not like the serial it will be printed it will the uh, the order is nothing but random and there is no guarantee that it will print it into the uh, the serial order so it will be in the random and print uh, those lines without any order okay so you need to remember this and you should not rely on the hash of ordering of how it can print okay so this is the way of iterating over the hashes now how you can add a new value to an hash variable so to add a new value you will need to simply assign a new value with the key for example so we don't have a key as dubai okay for example at bits the hash you are giving it at dubai equal to 
that adds a new value to hash or overrides the value for the key Dubai if it exists. So now in our uh, example, we don't have a key as Dubai. So it will add a key also it will assign the value to that key. Okay. So if we had already, for example, consider that if we had the Dubai and for example, Dubai as the value as four and here, so it will again reassign that value if you already had that key in your hash variable. Okay. So how you can add multiple keys or value pairs by assigning to the hash and the list. For example, you want to assign multiple key value pairs to your hash variable. So how you can do that by using this. So as you can see here, it is the round is the round braces. Okay. You will give the hash variable now. For example, here at present, you will give the hash variable, comma, you will now give the key value pair, Dubai for Pilani North. So whatever you are assigning the values that will be go on assigning to the hash. If any of the key in the list matches the keys in the original hash, the original value will be replaced with the new ones. And if it's not there, it will again add that value, key value pair to your hash variable. So this is the, the basic uh, important part on uh, assigning and adding the values to the hash variables. Now, the similar way what we had it in array slices, the same way you can also uh, take accessing the variables, multiple variables, naturally by selecting the slice of the hash because you are dealing with the sigil to indicate how you are accessing the variable. You use here the add sign. Do you remember? So you had the add sign for accessing the multiple variables here the similar similar way so for the hash slices if you want to uh, if you want to uh, access multiple variables from this you need to use the uh, the at sign for any variable okay and at of pilani comma hyderabad so this is my hash variable at area of now pilani and these are my keys and these are my values which are assigned to it okay so now i want to uh, access multiple values by giving the keys so i will give the add variable but here what you were using is the dollar as you had it similar way but here now so what you will be using is the add sign of the the area so this is my variable i am declaring by using my function and for the hash of area of by taking the at so i will give the key values i will give the keys inside it here and i want to print this area so what it will print it will print the values of uh, the index what is being given here for the pilani it has been uh, indexed with the value north india this is the printed and for the hyderabad the value is south india and that will be printed okay so this is the simple and uh, common way for uh, uh, declaring the hash and accessing the variable okay and accessing multiple values onto that and adding a new values to the hash variables this is what the the important part of using the uh, data types of arrays and hashes now we will run a simple program where you can understand uh, how it will run okay so now we will start with then array program so this is declared here okay so this is my array bits and the values are pilani goa hyderabad and dubai okay bits contains and it will print all this and i have one more variable not okay i will i want to take with the index which is one and i want to print that for example not okay bits at three okay so what it will give it will give the first what is goa and the bits 3 is nothing but dubai it will print goa and dubai here okay similar way by using the scalar context for example here uh, the variable variable bits campus at the bits bits has bits campus this is the uh, the campuses okay and it will give all the variables which is there here so we'll run this you can understand So here 
bits contains at the first print it contains it will give all the values with that bits okay and the next print as i said the which is being indexed at one is goa and bits three which is indexed at three is nothing but dubai goa and dubai okay and now the variable bits campus at bits bits has bits campus okay uh, the dollar i'm assigning i'm declaring here uh, i'm printing the the variable bits campus comma the campuses what it has the bits is nothing but the four campuses so this is what you can look so the bits has four campuses okay same way you are using the maximum script here the max sub what it has it will give the bits organization contains the add bit or what is that 1 comma 3 so nothing but the goa and dubai this is how the the array works now we will run with the hash variable this is the example by using the hash data type so we have take the example here at my alex i am assigning this is the value this is the key and the value pair the fred joe and mike okay and heather these are the values for the hash okay and now i want to print at alex okay with using the at it will print all those values and heather this what it will give so i will run this as you can see here at alex okay it will give all the value pairs, key value pairs, it will be printed here. You are printing at Alex. Okay. And Heather, this is nothing but uh, will. Okay. Here, Heather and actually. This is what uh, it will print onto the, the B. And at the print C, you are using the header the variable and you want to index which is we are assigning the key uh, key pair here okay you are indexing to the key and using the header variable you are indexing to the joe the same way through the mic and this okay it will print the values as you can see the fret at the c it is printing the value 44 and at the joe what is the value it is 2983 it will be printed and at mic it is nothing but minus 94 but header at this there is no value for this so it is giving it as blank you can see it here okay the same way so here you can see in this uh, line you are having the key value pair but brilling is assigned at 74 and by the end you are again assigning the brilling to one so what will happen it will again reassign if you want to uh, print this at a brilling what it will give it's nothing but the last value as you can see here the end value what you had it one it will be printing it here uh, by using the header variable the key the brilling it will print what you have signed at the end okay the same way and here there is no any change for the other variables and this is one of the uh, another war example yard and you are giving the key value pair here and by using that you want to uh, sprint uh, with the keys which is the blue and yellow it will give the sky the for the blue is sky and the for the yellow is dandelion so it will type here the sky dandelion okay so this is how the hash works so this is the example for your understanding you can write uh, different kind of scripts and you can have a hands-on experience on uh, writing the uh, Perl script by using these kind of variables and if you have any doubt you can contact me at any time thank you